We need to talk about what happened to Capricorn last night. No, I don't even want to think about it. I get that, but this guy's obviously not giving up. Oh, really? What was your first clue? The text message or the creepy serenade? I feel like I'm being watched all the time. I know you don't want to hear this, but I really think it's about time you told your mother what's going on. I get why you don't want her to know. She would make my life a living hell, Rex. Okay? I don't want to let this guy run my life. If I tell my mother, I'll be a prisoner in my own home. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way for now, but one more incident. Thank you. How about breakfast in bed? Should we order from the diner? I'm gonna cook from scratch in my own kitchen. Since when do you cook? You don't know everything. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Mysterious, layered. Full of it. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Yolks and the whites go in the bowl, the shells go in the trash. Okay, duly noted. Now, go, relax, read the paper, while I work my magic. I promise you won't burn down the building. Then we'll go to the diner. Go. Paper should be right outside the door. I got this, Adriana. Especially field work. I mean, I learned so much you wouldn't believe it. I got to shadow the team at homicide. I got to follow the evidence all the way back to the lab. I mean, it was fascinating. I can't wait till I'm finally out on my own. I bet. So enough about my career. I want to know who sent those flowers. Uh, you better dust for prints then. <laughs> so what's uh, what's been going on here? Did David Vickers admit that he shot your father? Still saying he's innocent. Well, I heard about Margaret. Did she say anything before she died? No, apparently she just started remembering something, then either Truman's the luckiest son of a bitch on the planet or somehow he had something to do with that van going off the road. I don't know anymore. Wow, you just can't get to break with this. Mm. But you'll get him. I mean, Truman's gonna screw up sooner or later. Well, there's been other complications. What complications? New evidence. And as usual, it's inaccurate, but it does implicate someone else in Manning's cover-up. Who? Bo. I don't understand how such a thing could have happened. Obviously, it's a terrible mistake, right? Or somebody's trying to set you up. Uh, do everything I can to get to the bottom of it, and uh, once and for all, we'll find out who set Todd up. Well, we know you'll do that. But in the meantime, it must be making your job here a little difficult. Well, yeah, but we, you didn't come to talk about my problems. Came to pick this up. Just <laughs> talking to Tess. She was here? No, but I can feel her. And I know that she um, thinks that I can't handle what's on that tape. Yeah, well, you know what? It doesn't matter what she thinks, okay? Just remember, Jess, 
It's a matter of survival for her. No, maybe not just for her. I'm so scared, Antonio. What if I can't handle it? Let go of you! Hey! Blood on your hands! No, it's not true! Todd no. would never kill a child but you! You evil, disloyal shrew! You condemned him! Made love to Spencer while Todd rotted away on death row, counting down the minutes, preparing himself to die, saying goodbye to his children. No, it wasn't my fault, it was Spencer's! You were in bed with him, lady, so stupid. Letting Spencer slither into your life, your home, your family. <laughs> I may be crazy, but I was never that dumb. <laughs> Blair and Spencer sitting in the tree. Oh, we can't. It wasn't like that. You had your legs wrapped around the man who tried to execute your husband. Oh, how did that feel, Blair? <laughs> did it feel so? Shut up! 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 Shut up